So I'm going to call that a win. Anyway, uh, warm welcome to everyone here as we gather around and settle in for session five of the Shrouded Shore. I'm Amelie, Dragon Mom and Dungeon Master for today's session, and with me are Cross as... Estitia! Draken as... Everyone, you may not recognize me because I no longer sound like a century-old recording of a sh of a, a radio show hosted by a chimpmunk, but this is Draken. I am Playmaker. Yes, Draken has acquired new audio recording equipment and has become very <laughs> powerful. He cannot be stopped. <laughs> Verdizen as... Rom Grimm. And Yulia as... Bailey. All right, and who would like to kick us off with a summary of what happened last session? You can do it, Yuli. Yeah, I, I totally know what went on last session. <laughs> yes, Yuli was missing last session. What so... do you mean five, fifth game? It only feels like we've done three before. <laughs> you know, uh, let someone fill you in on that. Why don't you... <laughs> oh, you got a whole lot of volunteers. I was just clearing my throat, <laughs> since everyone else in this party are cowards. Uh, I did it last time. Um, last time on Trotted Shore, the party managed to successfully infiltrate and steal a number of weapons from the forge complex with the great intelligence and acting skills of Desticia, backed up by the okay and moderately good acting skills of her fellow companions. Um, they managed to steal not only a bunch of weapons, but a cart as well. Uh, once they retrieved their goods, they brought them to the hideout of their temporary employer, leader of the resistance, and now have been given a new task, the utter destruction of the town by capturing and repurposing the Geomantic Control Center. Be days before uh, re uh, days before they set out onto their journey, they met with uh, the, uh, other members of the Resistance, Maker and Krom, having a uh, talk with their fellow Tinker, a red-haired gnome that I don't remember the name of. It's honestly not important. You don't have to remember the name. <laughs> well, Desticia uh, met with uh, a bunch of orphans or and or just regular children. They could have been mixed in there and a fellow um imperial from the mainland who is helping the resistance now all that's left is for the day to turn to the next and for the party to sow destruction upon this land all right that was uh very stylish. So, it is, in fact, the next day. You have had your preparations made. Maker and Krom have prepared the uh, command plate with which you'll be able to override the systems at the Geomantic Control Center. Uh, Bayleaf has spent some time training with one of the uh, one of, like, the scouts and leaders of the little resistance movement here who has been giving her a few tips with how to use some captured weaponry. And Distichia has been, uh, on, well, basically grocery duty, um, taking care of children that she assumes are orphans. And is correct. They, they are, by and large, mostly orphans. That I've is, got a question. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. We're still inside the the city itself, right? You are still inside the city. It. You're virtually moving. So, moving. Is, is, my, is my training with a gun? Don't shoot it. It will alert people because it's noisy. We're just going to aim and make pew pew noises. Uh, you've got an elemental fusel. They're not actually that loud. They just kind of like okay. crack and cast. They're about as loud as like anyone casting like a firebolt spell or whatever. <laughs> It's, everyone's doing that every day. <laughs> Look, it's a it's a city. It's loud. It's a it's a mining city. There's like smithies and stuff going on. <laughs> and apparently, children using fireballs in the middle of the street. Listen, the orphans. They it's hard to quell their activities. Look, look. Yes, that's true. Okay. Orphans love firebolt. <laughs> <sighs> there's a there's a whole sorceress academy where like the no, the, peop, the the children who actually have parents are getting taught firebolt. The orphans are not getting taught firebolt. <laughs> getting taught firebolt requires like tuition. That's expensive. Do you think orphans can afford that? Yeah, no. orphans have to settle for eldritch blast. <sighs> Such is the way of things. <laughs> settle for. <laughs> All right. So, you are back in the same back alley hideout as yesterday, but with a different crowd. Less celebratory, better armed. Tension fills the air, crackling and ready to discharge at the slightest provocation. You see a lot of young faces with gray hair or silver fur standing out in the places where it's visible. There's teenagers clutching at crossbows or spears, and... Many Partuvians with more unusual body types fidget in armor hastily refitted to accommodate wings, tails, or extra arms, or simply a larger build than is common for the humans and human kin for which most of Eridan's armor is made. Whispered conversation flits back and forth, not because there's any real risk of being found out, you're well off the beaten path back here, but just because shouting or laughing in the moment feels off-kilter startling wrong you're here too how did you spend the last night before this mission what did you do to prepare in person this isn't a this isn't like a check or whatever this is just how, what do you do like when you're waiting for something big in the following day probably so, anxious drawing maker Very, is probably just uh, managing the preparations mm-hmm Justicia made sure her legs are nice and shiny for today, and currently is c- kind of giggling because she's excited to uh, go for this uh, to attack a complex like this. She's never been in a geomantic control center before. Uh-huh. She's giddy. And Crom? Crom's uh, probably going to try and beat out the last of the armor he was trying to make. So, we've got doodling, preparations, more preparations, and from Distitia, some self-care. Good for her. Yeah, I, th- I think Bayleaf's bravado has like gone to very quiet now that this is becoming way more real. Mm-hmm. Like, stealing is one thing. <laughs> this is something else. <laughs> yes. So, lots of lots of nervousness. Mm-hmm. You can see a makeshift stage. It's really just like a stack of empty crates. Some of them are the ones that you stole yesterday. Where uh, Neal the acquired, Neal, not stole. Very good. Acquired crates, upon which you can see uh, Neal, the leader of this little rebel cell, climb up and raise a hand for silence. For once, he actually seems to have made some basic concessions to personal protection, wearing the same hardened leather as his partner rather than the usual bare chest and long coat. Dark eyes dart back and forth over the crowd of rebels, scanning you all for a moment. (sighs) So, brothers, sisters, we all know the plan, so I'm going to leave any refreshers to team leaders. And we all know this is damn near certain to kill a lot of us, so... I'm not going to belabor that point either. Not all of us here are going to make it through the day. We've made our peace with it. And that's because we know that this is necessary. 
When Aradin came, our parents didn't fight. They didn't have an army and they didn't have hope. They wept for our goddess while the Imperials built their castrums on our land and filled our streets with soldiers and thralls. But Partu is not dead. She has fire that no amount of bronze blades or dark magic will ever put out. Those of us who die today will become a part of that fire. And those of us who live will be tasked with keeping it lit. When my daughters are born, if they are born, I want to show them a Partu free of Aradun. And that starts today. For Nessus and all her wayward children. With your teams, now. For Partu. He nods, exhales, punches a fist in the air, and there's some ragged cheers. The muzzle of quiet broken as the 80-odd rebels begin to disperse into smaller teams, spreading out in various directions. Crumb! Yes? I've not made peace with dying. Then don't die. Okay. <laughs> Ow, cheery bunch. You see, uh, you see Maeve beckoning you over from an edge of the assembly, sort of singling your party out as Neil takes over general management of the rebel groups. This year kicks off uh, the crate she was sitting on with a shink of her legs and <laughs> goes to meet up with her. You do know what you're supposed to be doing, yes? Outsiders? Indeedy, we gotta deliver the thing to the thing and blow up the rest. They have to protect me while I carry out the core of this operation, yes. Well, if you want to put... You're all on the same page. To be honest, I do not like relying on you for this, but... You're what we've got. We'll buy you as much time as we can. The uh, Imperials will be quick to defend their coin vaults, and that should pull most of them away from the mines. Move okay. fast. Get what you can from the mining constructs down there. Uh, disable them if you can. And let's just go with you. Brady puts her hand up. Yes? What's the after plan? About that. Flee. She reaches into a little pouch and gives like four little marbles, four little amber talismans that each seem to have like a few uh, motes of dust suspended in them. Featherfall talismans. The uh, geomantic control center is up on the northern cliffs. These should get you down them quickly without having to pass through the mines again. Ooh. Once you're on the ground, the whole city will be in a panic. You should be able to slip out in the chaos. Look for our mem our members' leading groups if you can, and we'll be leading people out of the city. To the yes. east, ideally. Uh, many people will be moving south, but that will be into further Imperial territory. <sighs> Going east will take us through some wilderness, but... With enough people, the wild animals there should be dissuaded from any kind of attack. It was our idea to begin with, right? It was. Okay, so. Jump off a cliff. Don't die on landing. Chaos. Crab stables east. Oh, oh speaking of crabs. Um, why don't you pass those uh, papers you made and we can get the one we want as, as she starts looking through her stuff for the fraudulent papers Bayleaf made. Uh, oh, uh, hang on. No, I still got those. Yeah. So here, if uh, if someone's just sitting around not really participating, uh, go look for a crab that has a bandaged foreleg and... The, you can just take it out with you. Uh, can grab a few more stuff if you want. Interesting. An extra flatback will let us carry more supplies. Much appreciated. We'll see what we can, we can do to get this particular animal free. Ah. Along with any others. This requisition should help. 
in the chaos, I doubt they'll be looking too closely at anything, any papers shoved in front of them as long as someone's speaking authoritatively enough. Do you nod? Is there anything All else? right. Oh, uh, no. I believe we are ready. Ready as ready. we'll ready as I'll ever be. I but wait for the beginning. Take your positions. This will start soon. With that, she nods and shifts into the crowd herself. You lose track of her very quickly. She's someone used to moving through groups unnoticed. With that, assuming there's no final uh, preparations anyone needs to make, you do move up and sort of take positions outside the forge complex. If this were a normal day, the shift change would be about an hour from now. Activity inside the complex is sort of in that final hour wind down. But today is not most days. And as you're sort of waiting quietly to the, the side of the road. Sorry, were you about to say something? What? I thought, I thought I heard someone speak up. Um, no. 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 Audio then. Uh, as you are sort of huddled quietly in like a side street, keeping an eye on the big wrought metal gates of the forge complex, you hear a good and proper explosion down to the south. You hear, following shortly, shouting and yelling as guards run up the street towards the complex. You see lots of guards running south, uh, away from it through the streets. And the gates open up. There's confusion. There's people moving in every which direction. Workers are generally being told, like, stay where you are. Don't move. Uh, People being told to, like, basically don't do anything that the guards can't keep track of because they're having trouble keeping track of much of anything right now. Mostly they seem to be massing forces, and it's not long before you see a pretty large contingent of them, like, forced marching through the streets with a vanguard of thralls up front and a good 40 or 50 soldiers behind them. You expect that additional battle groups will be uh, following them shortly. But there's a lot of people milling about and very little sense of what is happening for most of them. Yes, this is it, right? I assume, we, I assume we're going to move in. Let's move. Yeah. You, uh, someone give me, someone leading the group, give me a deception check to pass yourself off as, like, workers moving somewhere or soldiers moving somewhere. Like, to basically give me a deception <clears throat> check to avoid anyone going, like, what are you doing? And needing to stop for it. Okay. I am pretty deceptive. If you guys want me to take the lead on that, sure. I. Oh, we all know you are the. You're the, the sneakiest. Face. You're the sneakiest of us, so you know how to belong in a chaotic crowd. All right. Um. Yeah. She will lead the way. Um. You know, just uh, making yells you know, about you know, make sure like you know, uh. Furnace is securing the chaos. Yeah, you know, don't let her, anything uh, get unattended. Busy, hey. Work's got to be made safe. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was the big... There was quite a uh, problem at the foundry the other day. Just proper meltdown of one of the furnaces. Yeah. How could that to... have happened? <laughs> You're able to avoid any kind of real detection. A few soldiers, like, people see you, but... 
they nobody's like really like accosting you like you give enough good reasons preemptively or even just like half reasons for things that sound mm -hmm. like reasons and as long as it sounds like you have a reason nobody's really questioning you right now because this is not where the fighting's happening this fighting in town like but nobody's quite sure what are the specifics what's going on a few of the workers like a few of the forge workers do like go like do, do you have any idea what's what's going on like uh is there is is it is, is something wrong or are we under attack uh, no some explosion down down towards the south side I no idea what it is but uh imperial in the imperial quarter or is, is everyone safe no oh, maybe something with the academy maybe that would make sense well hopefully they uh that little exchanges like that like assuage most mm -hmm. people um a few of them express concern a few people do seem to have uh know someone at least who has some business in that part of town but you weave through the streets up into the mines and now you have been given a map of the mines it's not exactly hard to get one these are largely handed out to mine workers casually so that they don't get lost um i'm gonna with that deception check mm -hmm. i don't want to be yelling it myself for any guys here I'd like to try and seed some stuff that, like, other people might be over her saying, mm -hmm. um, which is just like, yeah, um, had there were, you know, rebels at the at the west gate, or and then next group will be south gate, east gate, yada yada yada. Yeah, yeah. Basically, just try and cause some different uh, misdirection, yeah. confusion. The rebels are everywhere. That's what you're hearing <laughs> by the time you're getting to the mineshaft. Everywhere and yet somehow not here. <laughs> hmm. Not yet, anyway. Uh, be on the lookout, but hopefully, hopefully the soldiers will keep them. Will stop them before they get into the forge complex. This is where the valuable stuff is, right? Yeah. This is. Uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully they'll stop them before they get to well, where Payroll. everyone's families are living. No, residents. But you do have a little mine of the mine shafts, which you need because down here it is a labyrinth of just twisting tunnels and dead ends as um, the upside of the geomantic control facility is it's given them a very good idea where all the mineral resources in the ground are. But that means there's a lot of long spindly tunnels dug out in very mm. specific directions to harvest very specific deposits of ore and it gives this whole place a kind of spider webby um complex layout there are central tunnels which you're able to like move through that have mine carts and what have you um most of like the really big operational tunnels do have tracks that are wide enough to pass through and tunnels wide enough broad enough to fit a uh mining thrall but can you give me an what is the check for like i guess falling off that's probably survival yes yeah, survival is your navigation yeah. stuff navigation <clears throat> give me a survival check somebody to navigate you you have a map so this isn't a hard check but to f navigate to like one of the active mining branches would the map give advantage or such um i'm counting the map as lowering the dc significantly okay. That is a success. Um, so, quite simple. Probably managed good read, to, uh, managed to avoid getting overly lost. You wind your way to some of the newer tunnels, hurrying past <coughs> the occasional confused guard trying to keep workers on task as rumors whirl down into the depths about the battle on the surface. It's hot down here. And as you get into the newest mi mine er mining areas, it becomes obvious why there are actually already like pockets of exposed magma down here small ones by and large but there's areas where the digging has run into the molten earth under the surface and 
if mm-hmm. if a if molten rock comes out down here, is it still considered magma? I think you're still underground, and so it is still magma. But I swear to God, <laughs> <laughs> we can't I, have I, a magma lava conversation. I've every had this time exact conversation with my geologist friend. <laughs> <laughs> That is a good question, though. Okay. Chad is claiming that it's cave lava. Are and... clouds ro- rock vapor? Because ice is a mineral. <laughs> <laughs> no. <fuck that. laughs> uh, look, you exhale diamond vapor constantly. Uh. All that carbon. However... Let me activate this map. I am activating it. Do not tell me that if the light is off. I know. <laughs> Lights off. <laughs> Can't see. Oh, it's on again. Earth. Okay. Let's see what this goes. Oh. Uh, do you want me to just use a crossbow stat for the uh, fuse off for now? I have got. Uh, oh, you've got it. For it. Oh. It's in the little compendium area. If you look at items and equipment. And go down to the hand of your soul. You should have visibility for that. You do, don't you? One second. I don't see an items and equipment thing in the compendium section. Not in the compendium. It's in journals, rather. Oh, journals. Yes. <coughs> okay, got it. You've got it? Cool. <coughs> yep. Um, the mine gas has got to her. Uh, <laughs> oh no, baby's a canary. Man, Drop onto my back, legs up. <laughs> uh, telling us that it's all about to go up and smoke. Anyway. You descend down. And you can see this is a pretty large like mining chamber. There's multiple lava pools here. There's workers who seem half busy. There's a small collection of guards here. They seem to have like drifted down from upper levels and they're kind of huddled around a group of mine carts discussing something like in hushed breaths. Whatever it is, you can't hear it over the sheer noise of a pair of just massive flesh constructs. These things are not built off of a humanoid body, not in the way that most of the battle thralls are. They seem to be created from one of the native animals of Partu. They're just giant, like, hulks of muscle with leathery skin stretched over them, and these gigantic, like, shovel-like claws that they're slowly using to, like, paw at the walls, like, dragging them down, cleaving off big chunks of rock that, uh... The other miners sift through, sort through, as they um, look for valuable material. As you come down the tunnel, you can't really hide. These are lamplit tunnels, and you're accompanied by Krom Grimm, the largest man. Uh, One of these guards takes a step forward and is just, Holt, who is this? Come up with a story. Do you come up with? Do you try to talk, or do you just pull weapons mm. and rush them? If you just pull weapons and rush them, you will get a bonus to initiative. It'll be a surprise. Uh, oh. I won't say you get a full <laughs> surprise round. These guys are kind of like on edge, and they do have yeah. like weapons out. Uh, yeah. Okay. Like, um, but you will get. I'll say like. I don't know. Let's let's say like a plus two to initiative each for just like. We didn't discuss this in in, uh, infantry in character, so um, (laughs) it might be a bit of both, maybe. (laughs) Crumb's going to pull uh, pull out his sword and just uh, do an intimidation, but but if you. If you don't want to lose your lives, just lay down your weapons. Overlapping with his voice, M- Bailey is trying to go, a mercenary reinforcements, there are rebels. Ah, shit. <laughs> 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 ah, they're here. <laughs> yeah. 
one of the guards, or two of them pull out weapons and one of them reaches for like a little talisman at his neck and they seem quite uh, quite ready to fight. And so let's add them all to the combat. And there we go. They are initiatives. And there is a. Did I just. Delay. I think I created this by accident. And I think I can just roll everyone's initiative like this. That little rolling noise of initiative being rolled as battle is joined. Oh, there's a button to do that for everyone. I don't have to do them <laughs> at the same time. But then I have a little, a little noise. I, I am cross. I am cross at this <laughs> row. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yes. So, uh... Exciting. I was going to say I'm cross, but now I understand. <laughs> the, uh... One... here, in the center, appears to have the control talisman for the, uh, the thralls which you can spot him reaching for pretty immediately. But he is not the first to act. That would be Bailey. Okay. Quick question. Uh, what element is this fusel? It is fire. Fire. Okay. They can be reset with some tinkering, but you really haven't had time yet. Hmm. Flip. That one's got the control talisman. Get him! <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's yeah. that's the priority. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Um, she's not fully trained with fusel yet. She's not comfortable using it because I just realised um, that I have to change my sneak attack formulas. So uh, she's still in training. Still in training. <laughs> oh yeah, she's going to move one, four, three. Can't see grid. Four, five. Um. Whenever okay, you do the five. thing where you move Bayleaf in five foot increments, I always just imagine the little like servitor like bounce bounce Spoink, bounce. Spoink, bounce. spoink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh. All right. Hey, work. Uh, which one was the the center was, one? Center one has the talisman. Uh, I doubt I will get any sneak attack because they're aware I was there. So I'm just uh -huh. going to fire the hand fusel. See if this button works. Um, I might consider to be proficient with this currently. You are, yes. Okay. 17. That's a hit. That uh, oh, uh, and if it's a ranged weapon, it should have my uh, dexterity bonus on it, right? Yes. For damage. Uh, so that'll be a plus three. Uh, no, yeah, plus three to the uh, damage. The uh, mind guard hurriedly throws up a reaction to take cover. He raises like his little buckler and tries to interpose it, reducing the damage by four. So ends up taking four damage total. Oh. Uh, and then she's going to. Um... Oh. <laughs> That's the end of my turn. All right. That brings us to... Uh, Distisha. Wait, what am I saying? Bonus action hide. I'm a rogue. Um... Self. 
You know, oh, I'm not hidden. Like, because you kind of popped out from behind Krom there, you can go ahead and roll your sneak attack dice. They haven't acted, they haven't had a chance to yet, so. Whatever it'll be at. It's like, level three. yeah, you're at like 2d6, I think? Yeah, 2d6. There you go. Scorched and seared as Bayleaf pulls the trigger and just this bolt of fire races out of the barrel as it siphons a little bit more out of the loaded soul gem and self cauterizes. You've basically got a little blaster. Aha! Now, Destisha. The. She is. To. We don't want that guy doing the thing. So. I am going to. Just checking the range of this. Okay. <clears throat> she is going to cast Hold Person on the guy who is attempting to command the thralls. Go for it. Alright, so that button. But uh, I don't know how to print. Oh, um, it's a wisdom save. Wisdom save. I roll that with just... <clears throat> that is a failure. Okay, he's paralyzed. All right. At the end of each of his turn, uh, the, um, they get another saving throw, but otherwise it's advantage to hit him, and any hit that hits him is a crit. Okay. Oh. Then she's going to... Uh, she is going to move over here, and bonus action, cast her... Cast shillelagh on her leg. No, wait, I didn't get the fancy new shillelagh, so we're not going to do that. Okay. So she's just going to hide behind Rom. Okay. Is that how you say that word? Shillelagh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. It's an interesting word. We are shillelagh appreciators here. All right. Be Go a... get him, Come. She just pats him on the back. With that, one of the mine guards, the non-paralyzed one, rushes over and uses his action to just grab, like, the talisman off of the neck of this guy and sort of, like, saw it off. He doesn't have time to use it just yet. Not fair! Does... Cheating! Grab it. He screams, why is object interaction enough all round action? Yes. <laughs> and he goes and he hides down here. Then it's Krom. The guard who was their leader before he had his little towels and stone looks disgruntled at this, but he is paralyzed and cannot say anything about it. Let's see. So, um, Krom is gonna... Just... Oh, it's going to run down here. And then he's just going to char... He's going to use the charge maneuver and run right into the guard captain. I see. And since it's a critical... Well, and it hits hit a critical. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta make sure it hits first. So, and, oh no. And thing you have advantage. advantage. Because, yep. You...
Come on, brother. I've set this up for you. You've got advantage. Oh. You crit when you hit. <laughs> Uh, maneuver stances that uh, this is permanent duration because uh, we have turned those on before we yeah, came into ahead. the mines. Anything, anything okay. that's a stance, I can. I'm fine with you just saying like I've spent the point to get it active. Mm. Mm. Roll again. <laughs> that isn't going to do it. These guys do have some amount of armor. <laughs> no. One point moment. You do have inspiration if you want to spend it. I shouldn't you have, shouldn't you have a plus five to hit? Plus five? Uh, yeah, you're not including proficiency. Oops. Like. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so thirteen we... does hit. Okay, good. Who? They have some amount of armor. They do not have a lot of armor. Trying to ruin the th gifts I give you. <laughs> Roll well, your damage. It is a critical, so. That's so that's what? just double doubles dice. it. Or is it double everything? You roll your damage, you, you roll your dice twice, essentially. Yeah. Okay. The mods don't get double, but the dice all do. And so that would be. um. 12? 12 then plus. Plus 3 from your strength? Yeah. So 15 total. A devastating blow. Um, but it's now for the scary part. Krom has, um, furious critical so, and furious momentum. Oh my. Wait, not, not furious momentum. Uh, relentless attack. So every time he crits, he attacks again. Go for it. What's this green circle? This green square? Uh, that was something I made on X. Oh, okay. Hey. That hits. Okay, and that is also a crit, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So forty-six plus three. He is very, very dead. You were a little bit faster, Krom. You could have got the talisman. Yes. I'm doing my best. If he didn't go down that time, he would have... I still had one more Furious Critical in me. Uh, but... I just, I just got the weird message. That was... Ignore it. A, a wrong button was pressed. Hmm. A wrong button was pressed, you say? Interesting. Um, all right, so that guard goes down in. Krom, why don't you describe this furious series of blows with which you utterly dispatched a paralyzed man? <laughs> why did you say it like that? <laughs> Krom, uh, Krom runs down uh, runs down the um the tracks and reaches behind him. It, uh, behind his head and grabs his sword and when he reaches the edge of the turn he basically gets down on his uh, free hand and just runs on all threes as he charges down and does a big swipe across the um, guard's chest it clangs against the um cave wall, and he just uh, with sparks brings it back around. Oh dear. One of the uh, the surviving guard who can see Krom is just Oh, triumvirate, save us! Uh, miners! Stop them! Stop them or you'll be tried as rebels too! Stop them now! He's uh, panicking as he raises his shield and waves his sword at you. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, this is next up is the deceased guard who removed from combat, and then this mine guard who is going to immediately thirty. 
going to move back here, get away from Chrome, and is going to make an intimidation check to try to get the miners to participate. And, for now at least, it seems like they are press ganged into doing so. Though, not until the next round, it looks like. The excavation thralls continue to excavate, just blissfully unaware of anything that's happening, as much as a horrifying abomination of flesh and metal can be blissfully anything. Can Krom counter intimidate, or does he have to wait for his next turn I to keep the miners? Like, shout and intim bellow intimidation as an action. You would okay. have. A, I would say that due to your spectacular display, you would have advantage on intimidating when it comes to your turn, though. Okay. Make That's it. not part of my skill set. Oh. oh, it's my turn. The trolls are not action. Okay. Uh, bonus action. Maker is going to cast uh, Expeditious Retreat, which, contrary <laughs> to its role, does not involve fleeing. You're leaving? <laughs> no, he's, no, he's just gaining bonus movement speed. And, and that's a fizzle, so I can't use that again today. His rocket boots have overcharged. That gives him a movement speed of 40, which, how do I measure this? One, two, three, four, there's, there's a little five. Ruler tool. Yeah. Ah. How do you, how do you use it? Uh, up, there's a, underneath the anvil in the top left, there's uh, token controls. You select, select targets and measure distance. Ah, okay, so I have to measure before. God, this is so teeny. Let's see, 40, I can be over here, I guess. Yep. Fair enough. These little minecarts are like light cover, I would say, also. Mm -hmm. And for his actual action, Maker is going to cast Grease, the traditional. Let's do another piece of die roll. He can still cast Grease. Is Grizz? Uh, it's not. Okay. Just go, was just going to check if I needed. If that would mess up my. Hmm. No, this is not it. How do I make it? I. God damn it. Can't make a 10 foot con. A 10, a 10 foot cube. There was, I remember there being it's a button right underneath it, the rulers, measurement uh, control. No, it's more that I'm messing oh. up. Oh. Okay. okay, this should be it. Yes, the cube has been applied. Mm -hmm. It is present and accounted for. Yeah, mostly. We, the cube. we love the cube. Want to make sure. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Oh no, I'm making too many. Uh, yeah, this looks all right, and that's going to be my turn. That's my actions. All right. Cube has been placed. The other thrall Oop. minds its own business. Bayleaf. Um, I have a question. Is there like a, a visual difference between like um, Imperial natives and Partu natives and so on? Uh... There's certain species that are very rare outside of uh, outside of like Partu and are not commonly seen in the uh, Imperial Heartland. There are certain like like you could tell they are a different like ethnicity. 
Okay, so uh, yeah, you can distinguish. You can distinguish, generally speaking, yeah. Uh, what do these guys look like? Do they seem like Patu or...? Um, these soldiers look like proper Imperials. Like Okay. These are probably soldiers that were like dispatched down here because this is a strategic location, rather than like the more common like guards hired on from the local populace to keep the peace. Yeah. Actually, not, 45 not movement is tasty. Right, uh, first I will try to hide again as a bonus action. Uh -huh. Deep. Oh, that's better. And then she is going to do... Oh. She's going to run all the way over to here, round in the corner. Oh, my. And then she's going to try and, you know, stab a man. As you do. As you do. Uh, which, yeah, uh, so basically dropping the fusel back there as a free action. Mm -hmm. You can draw a weapon as part of your weapon attack, so draw a dagger. Shink. Just double. Uh, uh, I'm assuming he does not have a passive perception above 25. He does not, no. Okay, so advantage. Where did this Mervator come from? <laughs> yep, that'll do it. That's a, and that's a hit. My crit damage is this. Big stab. So that's a total of 23? Yep. Uh, instantly bloodied. Okay, and uh, that's all I can do. Save me. <laughs> Well, we just need uh, this tissue to reach there and uh, finish that guy off. This tissue shouldn't be hard. All right, we are going to see. Uh, Inside, I should have probably cast this on one of the things. So, do you mind if I cast this grease on one of these trolls instead? Go ahead. It was a mistake in Rinsight. I'm just going to reposition it like over here. As you wish. And okay, so... a reflex save. Uh -huh. Just wait till you're done with that. Reflexive it is not. It is prone. Mm-hmm. It is already admittedly lying on its stomach and clawing at a wall with giant shovel hands, but it is now prone while it's doing that. Okay. I don't ask how flat things become prone. Roll over onto its back. It's currently spinning in the grease. Oh no. It's flopping <laughs> about like a beached fish. It's charging up its spin attack. Okay. Oh <laughs> <laughs> okay. This this year is going to move thirty, uh -huh. and then use her bonus action to use her warlock ability to dash. All right. To here. That warlock was coming action. Yes. And <sighs> that was feet and left. And she is going to inflict pain upon this man. Oh dear. Um, what manner of pain? I am checking. Is that an actual spell or just? A... Oh no, it's not. It's it's not. She's too. Um, you know what? This guy is the dangerous. He's currently the most dangerous one here because he's got the thing. Yeah, he's so got she's the gonna... thing that can make the thralls stop being peaceful, and they are very large. Okay, she uses her last ten movement to get here, and she's gonna use force punch. Oh, she's gonna right. sock him with magic. Go for it. Right. Oh. A nine isn't about to do it. Um. I am going to use my inspiration for that because okay. I really want that to hit. Are you sure? No. Go ahead. 
<laughs> the favorite words of a DM. You must be playing so much just by saying them. <laughs> okay, I'm going to. I think you should save it. All right, I get my stuff back uh, with a short rest. Oh, wait, short rest. Inspiration. Inspiration oh. is not a, a short rest. Yeah. Inspiration. Inspiration is right. session. Yeah, I still that's, spent that's, the. That's why I ask. Right, right, right. Um, I'm in a scary spot now, then. Um, um, well... I still you... say do it. <laughs> you know, I'll say that you did the, uh, you did the intro. Have an extra inspiration. Go ahead. Ha! Take that, you cowards! <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who's afraid of using inspiration. I'm going to do that, then. Okay, go ahead. One more time. Because I'm a narrator. Bonk. That hits. All right. You bonk. That does all the damage you could possibly desire. Does this year pretty much um, dual track drifts around the corner and uh, uh, leaps at the guy uh, as he's lifting that talisman? The first... Uh, she does a spin kick with her blade legs. The first one uh, uh, is a little bit short, but then the second one uh, comes up and hits straight through into the wall behind him. Oh dear, and presumably through him as well. Yes. Yes. Uh, he has joined the club of mine guards with multiple components of their body in entirely different parts of the room. It's a fast-growing club. Membership hey, is high. I got this. She says, not having this at all. Um. Those guys did have a shove ten-foot attack. The uh, with their shields. Oh. <laughs> that is a very dangerous shove because there's a pool of lava right <laughs> behind the station. Yeah. Or is it magma? <laughs> yes, it would have been bad. It would have been bad. Pool. Whatever it's called. A pool of molten rock. It's another combatant removed. And Krom. Krom Grim. It is your turn. So Krom is going to hear Maniacal laughing from around the corner and a beat a loud kushunk. So he knows it's fine over here. There's no sudden oh no's or crying in pain. So, Rom is going to um, use intimidation uh -huh. and uh, all of you stay where you are. Roll intimidate. Have advantage because Krom has bisected a man. Oh. Try that was really scary. Those frogs are staying put. There you are. Ba -dum -bum -bum -ba. The roll is coming. Yeah, I'm That'll do it. Yep. That'll do it. That, uh... You do have advantage, though. Okay, advantage doesn't need anything. He's scary enough on his own. So with Very that, nice. the miners like largely like glance at each other. They drop their mining equipment, pickaxes, hammers. They kind of. Exhale shakily and back away. The remaining guard sees the direction things are going, realizes he can't actually control the excavation thralls, and he does largely the same sort of backing into a backing into a corner, raising his hands high, dropping his spear. His shield is a buckler; it's strapped to his arm, but it's over his head and not terribly useful right now. The uh, the battle appears to have resolved. For now, at least. Estesia is taking the control talisman. All right. You have the ability to... You can make an arcana check to tell these things to, like, fight. stand by or power down. Or fight. You could order them around if you wanted. You're, they're very slow, though. You're here to harvest their... Let them 
bite. All right. I'll have one fight the other. Winner to call. No. They could help us sort out some fatibles. Uh, we're here to take the power crystals from them. That was. Yeah, that, mm-hmm. that's the, the plan. Gems. Yeah. We need the soul gems. A lot easier with those things. We're going to do stuff to the climate control center. Da- don't reveal that. Nobody here really uh. seems to be like parsing ah. what you're saying at the moment. They're just staring at you in terror. Justicia is going to arcane both the the things over here and mm-hmm. just have them lie down and shut down. Arcana? Arcana. Oop. It's enough. It's designed to be used by idiot soldiers. There's more complicated talismans that operate the in the numbers of thralls. <laughs> <laughs> it flops into the glass on its way over a little bit, but it makes it there eventually. Now, thralls never, like, they don't power down, but they do sort of lie down. They close their eyes, and they kind of go into a rest state. And someone can give me an, let's say, a medicine check to extract would that, soul gems from these things. It's a, that would be fleshcraft, right? That would also work. You could use. Uh, I've got a. Tools. I've got medicine, fleshcraft, yep. uh, expertise. So that's that expertise applies. Um, while she's doing that, Bailey's doing the usual rifle through a dead man's pockets. Go for it. Um, you find uh, these guys have solid little bucklers. They've got uh, long swords, good quality. Um, there's like a few galders in each of their pockets. You manage to scrape together like a good like, let's say twenty galders between the two, dead men. Okay, right. I'm gonna pocket twenty galders and I'm going to take one of the swords and put it on my hip, despite not planning to particularly use it. All right. Destitia sort of finds like these big sort of metal spikes down the spine of these things, and is able to kind of slice them, slice their way to them, crack them open. Inside each of them is like a long, like a lesser soul gem um, powering this thing. And one by one, you're able to like extract them and the, uh, the like breathing of these thralls gets like a little weaker with each one you remove until they just lie completely still after you fully harvest a healthy little arm load of soul gems out of each of them. You could cast a lot of spells from this. In fact, if you want, you can, your little group can recharge its uh, spell points and exertion points to full off of these. There's enough soul gems here that like, it's not going to really make a dent in um, how many you're going to be shoving into the control console. These are pretty don't know nice if... pieces of equipment here. I don't know if Maybe. Bailey feels comfortable doing that with herself. Like, it's that disconnect of, like, uh, hey, I'm using a, a weapon that might fuel off of these, but, like, doing some weird soul gem stuff with myself. Yeah. It's understandably a little off-putting for many people. Is this is downing them like candy. <laughs> All wrong, wrong. <laughs> Looking Maker is everything. just looking at looking at scans at her, and he refused to do it. Mm-hmm. There is not much reason for him to do it, and either way, right. Either way, you managed to gather up these gems, and with that, you've got enough. Like you're told to, you're told like you want at least five, like ten is ideal, and you're able to extract a solid six from each of these guys. So you've got plenty for the overload. You're looking to do here. Wonderful. With that, are, we leave, are we leaving that guy be? Uh, no, you tie him up. Are you We're going to tie him up. Crumb, crumb, get him, get him. Uh, right. The guy does not resist being tied up. Okay. Uh, all of you fine folks, you, uh, you're going to be... Uh... 
Nice, nothing for anybody was going on. Us, we suggest you start picking up your stuff, get to your houses, grab the things you want or need, and get out of town. Because things are about to go down. Uh, 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 like, some of them just start sprinting past you, if not stopped. Probably taking your advice. Or at the very least, trying to get out of the mines. Yeah, you know, I think despite her anti-imperial stance, Brady is actually going to look at the tied-up guard with a bit of guilt, but she's not going to do anything about it. Throw him in the lava. <laughs> <laughs> Crom, I, I don't know if Crom would, but I, I don't feel good about doing that unless they're explicitly jerks. We've just told everybody to run, which implies something bad's going to happen, and then we're leaving him here. Maybe we, not comfortable with well, him I, leaving, I, I having did... his last moments in fear. Well, Crom's not going to leave him here to burn yeah, alive. Carry with. Yeah. Yeah, unlike certain other people in this group, Crom's a good guy. Make a... Um... You can go ahead and make, what's the thing, sleight of hand? is. Where's use rope when you need it? <laughs> sleight of hand would be uh, uh, rope, uh, yes. I assume that would be yeah. fevery or thieves tools, I don't know. I think. Wait, do we not have sleight of hand? I think, no, you have sleight of hand. Yes, yeah, sleight of hand is explicitly for uh, yes. doing knots uh, okay. and, and so on. So you can just give uh, him like a knot that will take like five minutes to get out of. Do you want me to uh, take care of that? Yes, yeah. go ahead. Uh, yeah, otherwise, she... Krom is going to use athletics to do it. Yeah, she's going to uh, go over to him and go, Hey, buddy, we can't have you running off into any people, but we're not going to leave here, okay? Uh... So, yes, be thankful to us. You're pretty sure it's not you. too tight or too loose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, you can have a guidance for the 15. Go for it. Okay, is that a d4? Yep, yeah. d4. Yeah, the 16. Listen, yeah. players that have ideas that thresholds come in five. This is helping. Mm -hmm. So, you uh, I assume you give him like a quick little like, I recommend you start working your way ahead of these as quickly as possible. <laughs> no, no, um, she's actually going to look over and crumb. Crumb, I feel like carrying him. He's going to reach down, grab him from with by the back of the shirt and bring him outside. So you're dragging this trust-up guard with you. Disarm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I still don't recommend that. Oh, it's a terrible idea, but Moral's win winning out. Um, uh, God damn it. Yes. Every time I click, the sh my shit opens. Killing somebody that's trying to kill you is one thing. Uh <laughs> This is you kick the blood off her feet. Okay, so you make your way upwards towards the control center. Now. You've got the hall yeah. you need. You simply <laughs> wind your way through. You've got like a tied up guard with you now, which means that. Attention. Just, I think we just drop. We're just going to drop him outside the mines, why don't you? Or put. We can put him in a mine cart. You're heading up to. <laughs> What, uh. what would you do with this mine card? <laughs> Roll it back down into the mine. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do with the mine card? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, oh, Move faster. <laughs> deposit him in the mine card. Where's the Where's the entrance? There's only one way in or out to this. There's right? uh, okay. actually the, your all the ah. mine tracks lead out to the like industrial part of town but you're going up to the geometric control center which is further up okay. the mountain there are tunnels that lead up there which so is i'm just what going to using. i'm going to just drop him at the entrance of this cave so not like quite at the entrance i'm assuming but close to the entrance where there's a trapped yeah. area where people will find him yeah you should be able to get yourself loose from those then you start <laughs> running you got it <sighs> 
I don't think he speaks. <laughs> I think we should have yeah. just throw him in the lava. It's a horrible way to die. It's uh, it's up there, but after depositing your cargo, you make your way up and up. The uh, you leave behind like the more twisty, windy tunnels for structured ones that are heading to a specific place. Sharper angle. There's stairs instead of uh, smoother, like chiseled ramps. So I'm picking up my fuse on the way out. I specify. You do. Yes. I generally make the assumption that you do not leave valuable. <laughs> Unless like fleeing reason. for our lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you come out onto the surface. One moment. You come out onto like a little cliff area. You see this in front of you, a wide cleared area encircled by stone walls. There's an elegant rotunda of brick and marble with heavy wooden doors at present wide open. A single guard stands outside looking ill at ease, on guard, but and clearly aware that something is wrong, but not sure how to place it just yet. Beyond him, there's a few more guards up on the wall with uh, longbows. You could probably see the city if you went up to the ramparts with them, but from here, this vantage point, all you can see is the wall itself. And with that, one moment. And activate. You come out of the mine shaft, which is about like a good, like let's say like 10 squares to the north of you. And this is what you encounter. There's like a single guard here, but he sees your group, which you've got some serious weapons and you're not wearing Imperial uniforms. So he's not like immediate to draw his own weapon. He just like raises a shield, kind of like braces himself. And he's like, oh, hold, who are you? What business do you have? Uh, Ford. Uh, what are you still doing here? D haven't you heard? Uh, did you hear the explosions? We've been ordered <clears throat> to stand watch. The rest of the well, captain is moving down. Fat load of good that's doing. doing? The, re the rebels are pressing in. Yeah. yeah, they could be here any minute. And you're here for what reason? We escort you out safely. Hmm. Give me a deception roll. Okay. Does that deceptious assistance uh, offer anything? Go ahead. Have a uh, uh, have an expert. Don't for don't forget your guidance as well. Oh. Uh, is guidance in this a expertise stack or is it a separate mechanic? One moment. It's an expertise dice. You can okay, roll so after the check. Yeah. Oh. That's a big die. It's a big roll. Yep, this it's a almost max. Uh, this guy seems uh, bamboozled, and he just goes, mm. <sighs> "Fine, fine." Well, right. the, uh, that's if the that's now there. If you've got orders from the console, then. He, uh, he turns and shouts into the rotunda of, Hey, mercenaries here. There's apparently an order to evacuate the center. And you hear a... Uh, you hear a shouting from within. Of, Buffoons, we cannot evacuate the center. It hasn't been properly powered down yet. Uh, whoever it is, tell them we need... Uh, God. 
Ten minutes. Ten minutes and we'll have this place deactivated properly. Shit. The guy okay, look. looks back to you and is like... <sighs> you and the rest of the guards... We need time. You and the rest of the guards get down to the academy, get them reinforcements, where the main press of the attack is. We'll guard them for the ten minutes they bloody well need. <sighs> the academy, is it? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Damn it, I have a nephew there. Fine, fine, we'll go. With me. He moves and, uh... Takes his remaining troops. Okay. Um, we'll move up and be like, Right, you said you need ten minutes, huh? As you, uh, head inside, you see the centerpiece of this room is this massive cluster of thrumming, fiery crystals at one end of the room. Various panels throughout the hall pulse with complex akkadic symbols and control glyphs and little nodules for various soul gems to be socketed in and controlled. An obvious senior technician in gray robes directs a handful of assistants and uh, turns to glare at you as you rush in. Just, uh... Hail, Junius Lamon, senior technician in charge of this facility. I have been not, I've not been informed of this. I have not been informed of anything that's going on right now. But this facility could be quite dangerous if it falls into the wrong hands. We will be disabling it properly. That's, uh, Lamon, how can, what can we do to help? And, uh, as saying that, gonna start moving in, you know. What you can do is nothing. Stand back and stay out of our way. You, you, uh, get to this, and he mutters and starts barking orders to the uh, junior technicians who scurry about the room. They are largely disregarding you as they go about their business. We're all kids. Yeah, kind of sin. But didn't you hear? There are rebels at the gates. They could be here any minute. I'm, I'm going to try and... Do the belligerent guard thing of like grabbing arm to pull out. So we gotta go. We does this place have does this place have lights? It does. There are akkadic lights inside the uh, facility there across the ceiling, sort of strung up. I think just going to shut them down. And I want to stab the men when that happens. Go ahead. You can make a. Uh... Yeah, make us going to approach and 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 shut them down. It's going to also. Do a little stabbing. So you want a surprise round on these guys? Uh, yep. Yeah, I guess right. we get a surprise round. You do. It's dark. Save guard, murder researchers, player morality. <laughs> <laughs> you can always choose to non-lethally stab them. I, that is true. That is a thing you can do. You know Maker what? is armed with a saw with a spinny saw blade. <laughs> as long as it's a melee weapon, still technically you can choose to do non-lethal. <laughs> no, uh, non-lethally shred the, the man. Aim for the limbs. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I will actually do uh, try to do non-lethal myself. Um, uh, button, aren't it? Uh, wait, you controlled actor does not have to. Oh. That? Advantage. Yeah, yes. That's a that's, that's a bad hit. hit. Wound roll. That, not the wound roll. Damage roll. So that's a four damage and five damage, and you do get your sneak attack, obviously, because this is the definition of a sneak attack. Okay, so nineteen total. Nineteen plus four. That's twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> he, he screams as you saw into his flesh and oh. stab him from behind. non lethally oh. It's like one of those cast-removing swords. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at all that non-lethal blood spray. Yes. <laughs> Send him to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. He's actually not been sent to the Shadow Realm, but Oh god, that's scary. That means he's a combatant. He's probably a mage. I don't want him to be standing, guys. <laughs> I mean, he's bloodied. 
So at least he's going down if we get a decent initiative roll. <laughs> well, it's a prize round, right? Uh, yes, oh, this a... year, and Crom should be able to do something. <laughs> oh, there's okay. a button here I can click to roll initiative. Uh, I'm rolling everyone's initiative. Like so. Speaking oh, of which, me. Maker and Distichus, or Maker. It's Maker all already went. Distisha and Crom still have their actions. Um, I think she's gonna force punch him, non-lethally. Uh, she uh, cannot non-lethal with spells, unfortunately. In, oh, in, okay. In the melee spells. Mm. Unlike a buzzsaw, a fist cannot be made non-lethal. <laughs> 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 okay, um... Well, then, that really lowers my options for doing I mean, anything in this fight non-lethally. Well, you know, hit him. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> I'll say that force punch specifically because it is a punch can be made non-lethal. A punch reefed in magical energy. <laughs> Look, if a buzzsaw can be made non-lethal... You just don't turn it on! <laughs> well, maybe he never turned on the buzzsaw, he just hit him with it. Well, Not considering on. the damage I dealt. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Beep. Beep. Okay. And with Ball. that, still very narrowly up. <laughs> at, <laughs> least, at least he's last in the initiative roll. Okay, so then... <laughs> these, these poor students to see us all swarm in and stop beating on this old man. <laughs> How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, <laughs> old man? <laughs> Four times, apparently. So, Krom is going to come over and broadside him with his... <laughs> Great sword. I just love the just, just, just of not being able to do a movie knockout on someone, you know. <laughs> just home run this man straight out of this room. <laughs> non lethally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. And by it, I mean his skull. An old man. <laughs> You're using the flat side of the blade, right? Yep. Yes. Ah. Uh. You know what? It's enough. Oh, wow. That's impressive. <laughs> it's enough. That's so. That's you. terrible. <laughs> it, it's the second lowest possible row. <laughs> Mr. Lamon, one of the students, just shouts as Thank in the goodness. dim light of what light filters in from outside from like the rainy day. Um. <laughs> Just there's a crack of thunder. You smashing this guy to absolute. A crack of thunder, a flash of lightning, as these four <laughs> heroes <laughs> attack. Who could have done this? <laughs> you can either fight us or pick him up and run. What are you even doing? A oh, terrible, terrible terrorist things. Like I told I told you guys, there's rebels at the gates. Could be here any minute. Well, well, I guess they're here. Get, 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 get Mr. Lemon. Get him and run. Remember, folks, freedom for part two. <sighs> they grab the guy by his like arms and legs and sort of <laughs> student run out of there. Yes, yeah, student run. <laughs> Um, were there actually physical doors on, on this, or is it just open? They are physical doors. They Let's are... get those closed. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, have a good time. All right. This, is... Man, this strikes me as excessively insulting. You should have just killed them. What are you talking about? They can't suffer their defeat if they're dead. I rest my case. Man, what was that old guy made out of? I know, yeah, I know right? <laughs> she shakes her he the hand she punched him with. Uh, it's throbbing. It He's going to come back to beat us up, you know that. <laughs> Distisha um, is able to tell he had some mage armor on 
Here's someone who just... The, apparently the kind of person who habitually applies mage armor at the start of his work day. So. Oh, so a player character. He, he's, surra <laughs> he's surrounded by students. That makes sense. Yes. I don't believe he's going to return, take off his robes, and reveal the, the great big muscles beneath. <laughs> Uh, so, and in this facility, the thing that you're here for is at this altar here, the, on one of the uh, steps leading up to it, there is like a large tray that you can pull out that currently has like an operational, like a big brass disc socketed into it that contains the uh, operational codes for the facility. It's basically got a list of like all the spells and effects that this place is supposed to be capable of uh, recorded in one place. Everything else is designed as a control panel for that. So I'll say an engineering hey. check can uninstall that and reinstall the one that you brought with you. Make it will be grabbing those. Uh, one moment. This is looking for anything particularly magical that she can loot off the place while they do that. Give me an investigation check. While Maker performs these technical bits and bobs. All right. Your uh, investigation does not turn up any valuables that aren't like part of the infrastructure here and therefore something you probably shouldn't like yank out. Um, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh, Dude, whoa, Jesus, oh, that does weird. that. <laughs> Tama says... What was that? <laughs> Apparently if you chat, it just zooms in. <laughs> huh. Interesting. The Marcos Flow Rune. Coding joke. <laughs> ah. Uh, okay. A what joke? A coding joke. Ah, I see. <laughs> 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 oh, <stop. laughs> Every time you do that, I have to open the. Uh, we we have action cam. <laughs> you do have action cam. You have the ability to hijack my the extra <laughs> camera that I've set up for streaming, and. <laughs> uh, this is the live game. You're supposed to be saying these things out loud, not hijacking <laughs> and zoom in on your character. Uh, We're just. We're just playing around with um, yeah. something we just learned about the system. Great. I'll have to I'll have to remember <laughs> that for when I like roll a critical it, or something. Well, it's how the stream can also uh, appreciate background conversations between characters that aren't yes. uh, interrupting the DM talking. Yes, uh, <laughs> I think yeah, there's yeah. a way to turn it off though. I, I think I saw it somewhere. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. But I'm sure there's useful ways we can use this feature that will cause me. <laughs> if you can trust us not to abuse it. Yes, I can, if you can trust, trust you all. Yes. I can trust you all. <laughs> okay, that, that that's a terrible idea when one of the party members is Yuli. So I'm just telling you that now. Yeah, Don't um, trust her. I'm also going to do an investigation check for, you know, valuable nonsense. Yep. Um, I will say what Dostyasha finds is down here appears to be the, uh, like, PA system for the town. <laughs> Uh, basically, there's a lot of buttons. What are these circles? Colors. <laughs> you can... It's hard to tell what, what they can do. Uh, Maker, you slot in your... Create a disc without much difficulty. The uh, crystals on the altar, they flare up in a few different colors. They darken a bit. Go from less orange, more red now. And... Uh, you can probably manipulate the uh, controls throughout the rest of this room. It's really designed for like three or four technicians, but you are better at this than the average Imperial technician. So you can probably handle it on your own with a good engineering. Yes, I can just, I can just uh, manipulate everything remotely. Yeah, Maker just sort of, you can set up like a, basically you can just meditate in the center of the room and connect to everything. Uh, do I need to roll again? Yes, I will need you to roll again to trigger... Um... Oh, that was not a good roll. 
if you spend a few minutes uh, fiddling with this, it's a very complex piece of machinery. Meanwhile, you're going to want a crom or distisher or someone to start um, feeding the sojams into the things. Sojams into these little like uh, brazier sockets here. Uh, one by one, just kind of like dump them in, let them be drained into the central array, power it up piece by piece. Give me another engineering check. It's minutes Oops. pass by. Things a bit off with my mouse. I am getting. Oh, I I wrote the wrong size dice for the. For the one moment, I wrote the wrong size die for expertise. But as it turns out, you can change the past, even here. Yes. But the future appears to change. Would you like to inspiration that? Ah, uh, yes. Go for it. You're making progress. This will take a while, though. Ugh. Hurry up! Uh... If you don't, if you want this explosion to happen before we can flee, sure. All right, take your time then. I'm okay. sure there's not like thousands of guards on their yeah. way up. To I'm stop peeking us. out at the doors. <laughs> You're peeking out of the doors. You don't see anything just yet, but the entrance to the mines is right there. It is so close. Um. The. Uh, Maker, give me one more engineering check. So anyone else can like provide assistance. Uh, uh, Krong, uh, can help with the uh, engineering. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Krong can help with engineering. Go ahead and make a proper check for Krong then. God damn it! <laughs> so. Maker is actually, he knows how this is working, but there's like an overwhelming amount of uh, like just different energies bouncing around. It's like he knows how it works, but he's trying to like type on like four computers at once. And even though he has the interface in front of him to deal with them all, he's a little bit overloaded. He's got, uh, he's trying to multitask too hard and manage too many programs at once. Chrome is maybe not as highly trained as Maker is, but Maker's able to delegate some of the tasks to him and ease up, and together you start making progress. Goes uh, over the, the interface and starts chicken-pecking the, um, the interface. Hunting and pecking on the glowing glyphs scattered <laughs> around the room. But, you know, sometimes that's what you need to do. Just, uh... Poke around until it works. Poke around until it works, and you know when it works, because just the ground beneath your feet gives, like, the most, like, the deepest, most, like, heavy rumble you have ever heard. Just, like, boom, 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 boom. like, it's not like a proper quake, it's just like a thrumming that goes through the rock and tile underneath you. Like, you can feel your bones rattle a bit at the sheer depth of this shaking. It goes once, and then like in a second pulse, like twice, and then a third time. I think that's our cue. Indeed. Dostisio uh, walks over to the intercom mm -hmm. and flips it on. While you're doing this, Krom and Maker do have a few like final checks to make sure that the place doesn't literally explode. You're trying to like safeguard things. Like you've got the eruption to happen. Now you're trying to control the eruption and make it not overly fast. So give me a you know, I'll say you're doing an engineering check. I'll ask for the role though after Distisha does her little announcement. You're at the PA glyph, it looks like. Yep. She flips it on. Bum, bum, bum. Attention, Imperial interlopers! 
We interrupt this day of compelled labor to bring you an important announcement. All further mining operations will be suspended indefinitely on the account of an overabundance of magma currently flooding the mine shafts. Crazy what happens when you leave an environmental superweapon lying around, right? With the help of brave individuals hidden under your heels, your geomantic control center has been taken and repurposed by Destitia Valantius and friends. In but a few short hours, your station of cheap labor and iron will be just as inhospitable as the rest of the waste you created. Which would be everyone's cue to skip town. The magma won't stay in the shafts forever. All shifts have ended. I recognize Decisia Valantius as an exemplary worker for this shift. Gates hey. will close indefinitely <laughs> in 120 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Beep, boop, boop. The PA system chimes down as Decisia looks quite pleased with herself. Give me a performance <laughs> check. really embracing the anti-imperial life, huh? Ah, I am going to use my second inspiration that I had for that. <laughs> Go for it. <gasps> uh, <laughs> yeah! Uh, you know what? You know what? It was a good speech. You prepared ahead and everything. I'll give you another inspiration for this. <laughs> Here comes the three. Okay. <laughs> okay. You are allowed to make DCs of five, you know. <laughs> I'm allowed to make DCs of five, but I prefer checks that can be failed. Listen, she could fail. I believe it. I don't care what the numbers say. So, as you're as you're giving that speech, Maker and Crom, you are fiddling with things, but. Bailey, if you're keeping an eye outside, and yeah. you hear a bellow as a voice all of you, except for Bayleaf, recognize more or less immediately as belonging to the second shift format of the workshops below. You hear like a Foreman Donnell, his shout has like a nervous, uh, nervous resolve to it, cutting sharply through the tension of your work. It's just here. Uh, Killen, tools ready. Be, be ready to work fast. Everyone else picks out an eye shop. You are these lunatics. We're not giving up on our gear just yet. And uh -oh. you see a small group of miners, really, hurrying out of the mine shaft. I would. So the door, door's closed, slightly cracked open. Um, Bayleaf would like to uh, yell really loudly how did you rebels get a full contingent of battle throws and then do her best impression of a death scream like horrendous <laughs> tortured scream <laughs> yeah, I do that go go ahead it's uh, deception <laughs> deception I... oh, oh crumb roar for me <laughs> What yeah. are you doing? <laughs> okay, Crumb's not roaring for me. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> uh, You know what? Um, I'm going to use my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> hey! You know, it's... It's a good roll. Hey, but even you... if it gets rid of some of them, I'll be happy. <laughs> You, uh, they, they seem a little nervous, but they do have one of those mining thralls. <laughs> that, Damn it. That has been, oh my. they, uh, the, the less heavily armed miners <clears throat> back up a bit nervously. Uh, is, um, uh, is the... Uh, it's Crom. Give me an uh. engineering check from Crom or Maker. I mean, it's Maker, assisted by Crom, so get an ex extra expert heat eye. You guys keep working. We got this. 
I think she looks over at uh, Bailey, who just screamed <laughs> next to her. Uh, is this check for to finish up the systems? Yes, this is the check to finish up the systems. You have succeeded. They, the town is going to be flooded with magma, but it'll take a little while. I could uh, magically mask our escape. Um. Donald doesn't seem like a bad guy. Maybe he he's the reasoned with. And if not, we'll just run. We have those, <laughs> oh, those marbles, right? Guy. He was... He's a good man. Uh, he's a good man. Uh, he was the uh, per, per, uh, first person I met over in the forges. I'd rather not have him come to any harm. I also, then. I also really don't want to fight what be on the other end of those mining thralls. Tell him to flee, then. It's impossible to stop this process now. All right. All right um, we'll talk to them first. Justicia opens <laughs> the door and walks out. On the kidding. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Foreman Dono! How are you? Y you? Yes, Wait, it's us. Y have you lost your mind? What are you doing? This... Uh, you the, the mines are already starting to bubble up with magma. You're... You're going to destroy this whole town and everyone in it. Incorrect. Uh, okay, Most morning. of the people have plenty of time to escape. It's more of a slow action burn. Morning, you guys should really be taking, by the way. You can't it, stop it. It's not actually going to be a boom. It's more like a whoosh. This place is going to be covered in well, lava. And... and there will be a release of toxic gases that might explode locally. Oh, that you didn't tell me. I also didn't tell you about the elementals. Well, all I... the more reason to, uh, for everyone to start way. running. No! We have um, tools. It's a long shot, but we might still be able to stop this thing. Is this if the we... cliff direction? <laughs> there no, isn't. Is the cliff, yes. Crom steps forward. <laughs> Donald, you <laughs> you aren't going to have a chance, especially with... <laughs> especially with... Uh, ra uh, imp uh, such improvised weapons as those. Crom <laughs> just takes out his blade and slams it on the ground next to him. I I am... Uh, I come from a warrior clan. I don't believe that you have what it takes in order to just defeat me in combat. Hey, I ask... Hear this. I spit on your clan. This is our home. You're trying to destroy it. You see Get that lining girl to the front. Let's see how you stand up against it. We are when, not. He whistles and just. Oh, I'm gonna go leap to my death now. <laughs> you are in combat time. You. That's do okay. Not have to. <laughs> They're that far away. We can get there. <laughs> I believe it. Bailiff up, guys. is pretty fast. Uh, let's. Uh, I have to dump the initiative here. That's a lot of. Yeah, there's a lot of. Can I just trash it? Should probably oh, be yes. yeah. There we go. And added a new. The miners all act at the same time. And Justicia takes a showboating penalty, apparently. <laughs> and well, goodbye, Justicia. We will remember you after the excavation trial bodies you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Crom, you're up first. Crom is going to. 
move up to here. Uh, let's see. Do I? Maybe I should just. Um... Can can Chrom delay? Chrom can. Uh, I guess I could delay. Yeah. I, I, I'm I'm asking but... Sal if if delay exists in the system. I think oh. it has the same rules as five E on delays, which is give up your reaction. Ready. Yeah, you ready in action. You don't delay. Yeah, you ah, could, okay. on a on a delay you can you can be, well on a ready action yeah you get to declare one thing like I want to take the attack action when something happens and it consumes your action to do it. Uh, uh, I to see. Do it then you you can just uh, act after me, okay? Because I want I was going to grease that troll again. So guys, <laughs> we could literally just take a dash action, double move, and get off the cliff. We got snowfall we, gems. We yeah, can, but like not I said, completely the, impossible that someone could stop it. Could stop this. <laughs> It it's is a slow than, no. process. Oh, okay. So, uh, okay, uh, sorry. I, I thought I heard somebody say this isn't reversible. Well, we tried uh, to come back. Hard, but yeah, it's difficult. Right but it is a slow process, so they have lots of time, and one skilled engineer with enough equipment and a bit of luck might be able to stop. It's not a sure thing. Yeah, in that case, it's better for <laughs> Chrome to just charge the trial, I guess, or do whatever Chrome wants. Go get him, yeah. Chrome. Oops. Or try to take the uh, the control from Donna. I don't know. Environmental question because it might be handy for Chrome as well. How stable is the shaft looking, especially around this entrance way? Um, the str the buildings here all seem pretty sturdy. They're not being broken by the tremors just yet. The mine shafts, the main tunnels, seemed like they were strong enough. You know, give me give me engineering from anyone on this. We could collapse it somewhere on by the path. The engineering never stops. It doesn't when you're dealing with. I have a really good engineering. So both well. of you, uh, both of you can tell that. Honestly, the main tunnels will probably hold up for a while until like magma starts eating away at the support beams and stuff. But the small side tunnels, a lot of those might start crumbling pretty quickly under these seismic activity. The, 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 it doesn't seem like something we could budge in our immediate facility. No, not on the surface much. These aren't, these again, these aren't like heavy quakes. These are like little rumbles in the earth. Uh, they might knock some glasses off of end tables, but they're not going to bring down. Uh, my visions of the Hulk and Crom breaking the ceiling with his sword shattered. You, uh, you could start attacking the walls with like a breaker weapon or something, but uh, it's a pretty big building. <laughs> That's a rotunda uh, building. Kind of all supports itself. Yeah, 2dh plus 4 damage is not going to be it. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess Krom will go to wrestle the giant thing. All right. Who had the... Um... The... Donald seems to have the control this time. At least he's the one who's pointing at you. Let's see. Just knock him out. And take the control for him from him, I guess. I... He... Krom does not want to hurt them, so he's going to just run and hit into this thing. All right. Go for it. That's a hit. For how much? Four. So much. Plus, since he's moved at least 20 feet, he can um, leveling charge. The thing makes a Strength saving throw against my furious critical DC or fall prone. And the that DC is... It's 12. All right. Jeez. It succeeds. Does indeed succeed. Um, with that, 
You deal nine damage, correct? Yes. You cleave into it easily, but it is very large. You sense that this thing has an enormous number of hit points. At least by the standards of any normal flesh and blood creature. I don't want to hurt you innocent people, Donald. Turn around. Well, maybe you should have considered that before you tried to blow up a city. We considered that. That's why you have a lot of time to run. He doesn't seem to be receptive to that argument for whatever reason. <laughs> he actually means... looks quite mad. Just extremely angry. Maker? Uh, well, he's home me after this is gone. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, Maker is going to do the usual. Cast Grease. Where's the Grease going? One moment. I remember that I have a, a little thing for this. It goes here. Does this button allow you to roll the save? It does. All I oh, have neat. to do is I have to click on a creature. And I hit. Like so. Ground. That means both of them are prone. All right, they have been greased. And Do I end up movement here, I guess? Mm -hmm. mm, no, here. Ah, turn. Oh, wait, I need to roll my fizzle dice. It's actually a d6, I have been rolling wrong. Okay. Engineer rushes over here and casts the old reliable magic missile, all three targeting Maker. Hmm. Well, that's just damage. That's Oof. 12 damage. That will indeed be 12 damage. Um, how, do I re how do I reduce the damage in my health? Uh, on your sheet, there is. Uh, you can right yeah, click your right, right click your token and I, just. Type I it tried back. and I tried it didn't work. Oh, uh, okay. the, on your sheet, top left, the first yeah, number no, in no, the HP field is editable. I I knew about the the sheet. I just uh, tried to do it on a token. Double bloodied. Yes, I have uh, only twenty four hit points. This thing swings its shoveling claws at a uh, crumb and misses. Ooh. Crumb just raises up his blade and kind of hits it away from his main body. And its multi-attack also misses. Good, However, that's where, a spooky. Where he deflects those claws, they land in like the rock to his side and just carve these huge gouges out of the stone to uh, each side oh. of you as Krom like manages to deflect one set of claws to one side, one to the other side, and he finds himself standing on a little one little clean patch of stone between two great deep furrows. It's not fast oh, but it's ripping things up pretty nicely. Belief. Oh boy, um, there is no hideability here for me, so I am going to uh, uh, um, is he visibly holding the control thing for the uh, thrower, or is it hidden away? He's must be wearing it somewhere. It might be under the, like, the scarf he's got around his neck. Right. Um, I believe you are able to use certain skills in combat. I'm sorry, I did not hear what you just said. I said, I believe you're able to use certain skills in combat. You can, yes. Uh, however, that is far too far for me to move. Damn. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, I will come up to... Oh, I I just need to 
remember that I'm actually a berserker and I have rage, so yes. I am also in rage. Retroactively, I rage. <laughs> um, bonus. Oh, this is dumb. Okay, bonus action to dash. Yep. I'm going to stab him with my dagger. Go for it. This will be a mighty blow, I'm sure. 25. That's what? a crit. Oh, it is. That, oh, my. Oh, why can't I have sneak attack? That's so sad. Um, <laughs> I will take that. All right, 13 points of damage. And then she's going to step back. Okay. Which could provoke an attack of opportunity if, he's, if he wants to. He will take a swing of a, attack of opportunity. <laughs> I will stay here while it resolves. He just got stabbed. <laughs> Uh, 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 double checking my AC. I think that might be a hit. That is a hit. Uh, I will take 11 points of damage. Uh, if I think. And then I get to use my reaction to trigger painful pickpocket. I get to make a sight of hand check against him to try and pickpocket from him. All right. Go for it. Uh, oh. 23. Excellent. Can she grab that goddamn control thing? Can she find it? It's up to you. <laughs> um, I'm going to say make a perception check. Yeah. Yeah, you can see uh, he's got his like scarf hastily like pulled over something that he appears to have grabbed from someone else and strung up around his neck. But you're able to reach out like through the pain of getting hit with a sledgehammer. Yeah. <laughs> grab grab his scarf, grab the amul underneath it, and just Does a deer of, flip. Yeah, you're able to like slice it off and like sort of grab it and run back with it. All right. Got the amulet crom. <laughs> very, very good, Bayleaf. Don't let him hit me again, please. <laughs> <laughs> He is keen on hitting you again. I don't like that. <laughs> Rushes after you. And he just swings his mallet again. I don't like that at all. Right faster! That's definitely a hit. It is a hit. Thankfully oh, not uh, the largest amount of damage in the universe. Darn it. But six just damage. a little bit closer. And as a bonus action, he will use Rallying Surge. To heal himself for 10. Oh. Oh. Mm. The uh, miners here. are a bit daunted from that initial that initial intimidate so they're not gonna join in just yet but they are gonna sort of like circle around a little bit kind of like getting ready to Join in the fight. They seem to be like stealing themselves. They're just not ready to dive into melee quite yet. They're clutching at mining picks and what have you. Distisha. All right. So let's see. Distisha is going. How tall is the roof on this thing? Like the roof? Yeah. Um. I'd say it's like a domed roof, but like the lowest point around the outside is probably like, I don't know, 12, 13 feet or something like that. It's a pretty big Okay. Thing. All right. Obviously, it goes higher as you get close to the top, but I'm not doing math. The Stitia is going to... She is just going to jump onto the lowest point because she can jump when she feels like it, 15 feet in the air. Uh-huh. 
lands on to, uh, lands on the battle parts. Donald, you're wait, uh, you're wasting time. There's time to get out of here. And she's going to um. I think she's gonna hold person on Donald. Go for it. Let's see. Or I can make Bayleaf invisible. Not Bayleaf can disengage. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I can get away. Hold person. Hold person. Press what? the button. There's three hold persons. Oh, like. whoop. Sorry. Hey, kind of spammed. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll just I, I didn't hear the dice roll. I'll delete it. It was in. And Donald? Saves. That's a problem. <laughs> All right. And let me just see if there's any. Click and hold person. Um. Boop, boop, boop. Nope. And. I'll. Yeah, that that's. That's my stuff. All right. For now. Once again, Krom, I will note this thing is still hostile to you. It is still uh -huh. under orders to attack you. It is an action to issue orders to make it stop <laughs> yeah. attacking you. I'm hoping that Baby will do something about that. I, I will be doing it when my turn comes up. Uh, so if you want to try and just move away from it or what. Yeah, if, if you can, like... Probably. Depending on the region, this thing you should be able to move forward and uh, grab a Dono or something. Shove him away. It's going to move up to here and. Oh, right. I have expertise on shoving. So, how, how do you roll shoving? That's an athletics, right? Yep. That it is. Okay. So. Krom is going to shove Donald back away from th these two. All right. Go for it. So is that like a opposed by something? Um, um, is it like opposed athletics? Uh, I don't know. I should be. Uh, they should be able to choose athletics or acrobatics to uh... yeah, oppose with. <laughs> he will choose athletics. Oh, He's too powerful. Uh... Oh, uh... wait. Can I? We're going to. We're going to be defeated by Donna. <laughs> <laughs> One's... I'm not. I'm out of here. <laughs> One second. Uh, uh... Here's the thing. The engineer acts before you. Oh, man. <laughs> I I could have used my inspiration to add five to that, but I have to not know the role first. Uh, oh, you, I'll say you can do that. Yeah, uh, uh, that, those rules tend to yeah, get waived very, in online very, games. Cause, yeah, um... I waive that stuff because, like, I'm trying to keep you things moving fast, so I always yeah. roll quickly. Okay, so then... Also, there I add, use my inspiration to add five to Your own my game. athletics check to I make it a 16. I handle it is probably just to have him roll again. Against 18? Uh, yeah. Against, yeah, I suppose you could. Against 16, yeah. If he gets a 17, I'm going to be upset. Wouldn't be you know that. DC 18 with a plus five to the... Do you see? Uh, either way, he doesn't succeed. Oh. Yes. So you shove him how far? 10 feet? Oh, yeah, backwards. Like so. Uh, no, of like this. away from them. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You probably have to shift down the square to get at that kind of angle. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Does oh no that does that provoke attack as attack of opportunity? No, force movement does not yeah, provoke attack. Force movement never does. And that is that. Crom, what else do you have? Anything? 
Let's see, that was a move action. Nope, I got nothing. Unless I can't. Can I move again? Uh, I no. forget. No. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can use the rest. Okay, yeah. then. Krom is going to move in f- front of them. Yes, protect me. Okay, and that will be it. Right. Ah, Maker. Maker is going to first move. Oh, God damn it! Move over here, which is ten inches of movement, and then he's going to cure wounds on baby. Ah, oh. because. We kind of need her to not get a magic miss out to death before she can take her action. Helps, I guess. Dies. I mean, that, that could make the difference for me, so... Yeah. It could, yes. All right. And my Fizzle dies. I still get my... I still get to act, and Maker is going to take some more distance. And that's going to be it. Don't really have any use for my bonus action. The foundry engineer sees Krom getting in the way of Bayleaf and reads the room and casts magic missile targeting Bayleaf. Uh, no! <laughs> oh, that's exactly my health. <laughs> Oh, right, Bailey is down. <sighs> uh, maybe I should have you... picked it up. Maybe I should Wait, have just picked up the item and used it. <laughs> maybe <laughs> that's a problem. Well, uh, an object interaction would have been your action anyway, so you wouldn't have been able to use it on the same turn. Uh... Um, do I have anything that I can? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I am down. You are down. Wait, no, I'm not. I've got robust. Got? I forgot to add one HP from my, my level up. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> I've got one health. <laughs> the robustness. It mattered. The, the robustness, the cure boons. Rarely do you see every investment in hit points matter. Uh. <laughs> I ate a sandwich and the sandwich paid off. <laughs> Mas, the control oh. talisman. Oh. The last hit point. The only one that matters. <laughs> the thrall moseys its way towards Krom. I mean, such I should probably have stayed here to shield Bailiff as well. And it makes its attacks with its shoveling claws. First attack. Second attack. The first That's attack. That's another one. <laughs> the f- uh, first attack hits, but Krom is going to use his reaction to parry. Okay, go for it. So I add a mm-hmm. expertise dice for to your dice. Yeah. Where'd the- That brings it up to 18. It matches. AC yeah, matches. So, yeah, yeah, it still so hits. It still hits. Ah. So that's going to be 12 nice. damage. Okay. Bayleaf. And... Okay. All right. Bayleaf doesn't know exactly how these work. So I don't... It's an arcana check. An arcana? Okay. Right, she is going to try an Arcana check. Let me... Yep. Wait, where's my Arcana? This is a really good roll for me, guys. Oh, One I... dice luck. No. Oh, I probably should have grabbed that from you. It's, instead of going to go perch on a lamppost somewhere? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> right. Um, she is going to try yelling at it to um, guard those doors and kill anyone that tries to enter. Shakes the amulet a bit. Yes. <laughs> No visible response. Um, one, two, three, <laughs> four. Um, rogue object interaction pushing this into the stissy. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. 
But this is just a thing, Ben. It's done. <laughs> Six. Lobbing it uh, the yep. Uh. Um. Yep. Let's be done. <laughs> okay. Great job. Great job. <laughs> she just grabs it out of the air. I thought you knew how to use the thing. Ah. <laughs> Gonna come oh, after wait, she's up. Oh, I should oh, yeah. probably, uh, one of us should probably do a, a, a uh, should I do acrobatics to try and throw it up there, or what would you like? Uh, I'd say either you can do acrobatics to throw it, or a distichia can do acrobatics to catch it. Uh, I've got a f five. Is that better than you, a Uh, yes. Yeah, I'll Even go. though she has six arms. I, let's see. You yeah. toss okay, it up, and it, the stage reaches out, grabs it, kind of bounces out of one of her hands, but she grabs it with another one. <laughs> I've got an expertise on all dexterity checks because I have so many arms. It doesn't help that mm -hmm. I'm bad at acrobatics. So while you're doing that, Donal is going after Maker and attempting to unmake him with his hammer. Ow. Uh, that, uh... Yeah, that hits and... Is there some kind of reaction I can do with a buckler? Uh, I mm, do not think don't so. think so. Eh. Okay, that 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 brings Maker down to min to minus two. Oof. Maker is bleeding? Question mark out. He is zeroed. Why is no one fighting me? <laughs> Evac you should evacuate. He probably whatever is coming out of him is probably toxic. <laughs> oh dear. Um, did I? Huh. Didn't save. Okay. What's happening here? Can I not? Br can I not put this down to zero? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I managed to get my shit down to zero hit points. The miners seem heartened enough by. Mm. heartened enough by their numbers to kind of go after Krom with a whopping four attacks. I put them flanking. And they're flanking. And the other ones are not flanking. So I think that is probably a hit for eight and a hit for three. Yes. As they try to surround and they just like swing furiously with these aren't war picks. These are just mining equipment mm -hmm. um, that at the end of the day, though, it does have a pointy end that it is intended to break rocks. It does hurt to get hit with it. It's a heavy piece of metal on a stick. Yes. Um, Decisha, you're up. He is going to uh, raise the amulet and arcana check. Go for it. This is not considered a soul art, right? Uh, this is not, really, no. But you succeed. You can give it an order. What order are you going to give it? Go for the mage! <laughs> oh, no, I help Crom. Uh, it doesn't know what a Crom is. <laughs> <laughs> um, you should have it destroy the entrance way or something. Oh, this just entrance way? Yeah, oh, just yeah. have it prote protect the entrance. We don't need to win, we just need to run. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was trying to get it to protect, uh, kill anything that comes trying to enter here. Yeah. Guard the entrance! Frantic pointing. All right. And then she right. up the roof. You're pretty sure its priorities have changed. It sort of like perks up, like looking and giving like a oh, no. rumbling groan, like. Oh no, I'm standing right here. Oh no! It's <laughs> <laughs> <Here's> an ally! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Justicia, is that your that your full turn? Anything else you want? Oh, 
you should one start more. running that running south. She is going to use a bonus action to taunt. Um, uh, Dino! Uh, she uh, shakes it in the air. I think it's best that you start running! And she follows her own advice and hops up around the roof to um, get out of the range of ma magic missiles. All right. What is the range of magic missiles? That spells like ridiculous. 120 or something. Yeah, you're not going to outrange magic missiles unless you get to the other like hemisphere of the building where it will shield you from them. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that's that's what she's doing. She's pretty much uh, she's going to use her bonus action to dash. Go for it. So, uh, bye. She does a backflip up onto here and then continues out of sight. All right, the uh, that means Crom is up. Uh, pick me up and flee, please. Yeah, so action to pick make her up. Yeah, that's gonna be a Krom. lot of opportunity attacks on you. Is Crom will be able to deal with it? I hope. The magic missile is going to be the problem. Um, I mean, his is a two. He can't have more. <laughs> he might target me again, so he might be lucky. Lucky, I'll have to pick you up too. Oh, you honor me by fleeing like a coward. <laughs> Let's see, this is this is going to need to be a, in a spot to try and save people. I would hope so. <laughs> as long as you all vacate the area, you won't see me die unless I won't be dead and can come back like, you know, 10 <laughs> sessions later, very scarred and stuff. Oh. We introduced to the <laughs> punished Bayleaf. <laughs> Crom is going to pick up Maker. And then, uh, let's see. Far is this? He's going to run up over to here and basically plop Maker onto ba uh, Baby's back. How much does Maker weigh? I think he weighs more than Baby. Okay, then maybe won't do that, but he's going to <laughs> block Baby from Magic Missile, at least. Let me check that, actually. Yeah, Maker weighs like 300 like, pounds. <laughs> yeah, that would crush me. <laughs> <laughs> I have eight worry. strength. I don't think you can body block Magic Missile. Like uh, You can't, as long as they, can, they are aware of where I am and so on, and I like, can see my feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, uh, uh, Crumb's legs, they can target it. It's true line of sight. If you mm -hmm. if you can see under the treads of the Lehman Rust, the magic missile can target yeah. you. It is a uh, quite a spell. It's kind yeah. of known for hitting. It's People that underestimate it based on its damage die have no idea how potent it really is. Yes. And it rolls three three die, so mm -hmm. it's very reliable. It's... Mm -hmm. It is a standby for a reason. So, what are you doing? Are you... I assume you aren't crushing baby with a large yeah. metal man? Excuse me, a medium-sized metal man. Oh, Use the best shield. <laughs> this is not the right type of shield. Are you able to move further? Uh, I can. Honestly, you should flee. Yeah, just just run. In character, it makes sense to, although if Krom has a honorable I must defend thing, that makes sense as well, but uh, don't worry about ah. me. I'm not afraid of death. Can... Krom... I can't just, like, push Baby in with me going through here, can I? Going Maybe through the doors? Yeah, actions are probably not. 
The thing has also been ordered to kill people who try to go inside. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm moving away from this point. Mm -hmm. Very priority. Okay. You may not be not be afraid of death, but I'm afraid of your death. So. <laughs> be afraid of my death. You're replaceable. Listen, run, uh, I'll ex catch up. I promise. <laughs> That's a death flag. That's a robot. Ra that's a robot racism. The frog's not going to attack me. The the mage is the only one that's going to think he might not target me. I'm going to run here then. All right. Getting okay. ready to grab baby's body. <laughs> okay. So, Crom gets in position, hustling furiously. Maker, give me your bleed out check. Uh, one moment. There is actually a. I think there's a button for this. How many bleed out checks do you have, by the way? Do you have I three of them? I think so. If it's if it's standard to five e yeah, air free. Hey, that's, uh, that's one stabilization. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Oh, neat. This show this automatically shows the stabilization rows. Neat. Yes. Time to cast the last of the magic missiles. This oh, one's no. targeting Chrom. Is the frog going to attack, oh. baby? <laughs> um, it might. I am right by the doorway. But she's not in it, so. Baby, do you That's look how like intelligent you're trying to go inside? No. <laughs> Yeah, as long as Baby is, like, putting distance between the door and herself. Because, um, like, you know, all this is... Yeah, in the sense that all is happening at the same time. Yeah, she's turning to run. Yeah, it does not track that. Instead, it looks at the people who are heading towards this place. And it opens up on some of these pesky miners next to it. And it uses one sec. I don't believe it can not. Seismic shriek. It's a uh, a tool designed for burrowing through rock. That's how. That's a failure. And every time you pop, you put that on NPC, a little mark, a little message yeah. shows up for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll get the user us has uh, lacks permission to update token to, in parent uh -huh. scene. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we're getting a message that an error message. Huh? My camera, my camera thing, my jig is not. Giving that. That's weird. It's not showing up on stream. We'll have to figure that out between scenes. <clears throat> it, it's probably something to do with us being players. I assume your camera is not a player itself. It is actually a player. It is just set to be an extra player in the scene. Huh. Uh, it's set to be a player. It's not set to be a character, which is the important thing. Ah, that is true. That is true. And Donald? Takes heavy damage. Like, these two miners basically. They get jellied. This thing is designed for, like, shattering rock formations and softening up ore veins for this thing to claw into. It is not meant for being used on squishy humans. But hey, turns out humans are softer than rocks. I can't prove it was me. I mean, I didn't do it. Bayleaf. Bayleaf. All right, time to do that rogue thing. Um, movement, action dash, bonus action dash. I'm a. Uh... Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, God, I hope these function like feathered tokens because I'm going straight off the cliff. 
Yep. <laughs> <laughs> There's a terrified bleat as she leaps. The uh, the token kicks in, and you find yourself drifting. Flailing legs as I drift. Yeah. Dracon, do you have your mic getting, on? I think there's an echo coming from me. Oh. Yeah. Getting... Weird. Yeah, we can hear your speakers. It hasn't. It hasn't been happening until now, has it? No. 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 That was the first time. Huh. Weird. Uh, I've actually been hearing it every now and then. It's just not constant. I see. Oh, uh, interesting. So, Bayleaf is like floating down. They seem to be pretty quality tokens. You're not going straight down. You've kind of got like a diagonal. Oh no! <laughs> drifting That's dangerous as well. <laughs> um, got a little bit of control as you like clutch this bead, trying to figure out what direction. Okay, it is screaming and frantically trying to paddle her legs towards the east. Yes. So you are out of the combat. Oh no! She was vaporized. That was fast. She was like a. Deer powered rocket. <laughs> Donal is going to rush up and attempt to clobber Krom. Trying to snag him, trying to slow him down. The only way a guy with a sledgehammer can, which is hitting you with it. For seven damage. Ouch. The remaining miners are kind of panicking and trying to get away. One of them starts to run. Andy is flattened. Just turned into like a red smear on the rocks. The other one uses that to just flee wildly, trying to get away. They did not sign up for this. Destitia. All right. Looks like I'm going to have to save the world. Um, at least Krom. What's she going to do? She is going to... She's gonna jump to here. Just making sure... 15 feet. That's 15 feet. Oh, okay. She's gonna here making sure she's eh, it's 15 15 15 good goes here and casts thunder wave all right the boop oh unleash its full power so this is oh. targeting Donald? Yeah, it's a 15-foot cube around her, which I... Uh, yeah, you're all good. That is a failed save. And he takes 2d8, takes 5 damage, and is pushed 10 feet away. Like so. And that's going to be really goddamn loud in uh, this environment. Boom. There's love and explosions already. It's already loud. Yes. There's a huge doom. And she she leaps off the roof and lands onto the ground. And where she uh, strikes the earth with her feet, a shockwave comes out and a loud crack as mom, 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 mom. the magical energy pulses out from her. Mm -hmm. So is it is it more of a hero hero landing or more of a ballerina landing with her f knife feet? It's kind of a pirouette into a hero landing. I see. Why not both? <laughs> and then she's going to use her bonus action to use her last uh, special movement. All right. Which is 30 feet. Boop. Hey. Boop, boop, boop. 
I guess standing on this box and waiting. Okay. Come on, Crumb, get moving! Those are stairs up to the ramparts. Oh, Not oh, okay, they're stairs. Okay, that's that's better. Like I thought that. they were boxes. They're short little staircases up to the ramparts. You can see the city sprawling out in front of you. There's a lot of fire in the city already. Not from magma, just from... There's quite a bit of combat in the streets, it looks like. Now, it is the turn of Krom. Okay, um... What... Is the double move action, or is is it a it's run It's a dash. Dash, dash. dash is okay. just you move again. Okay. Going to dash. So that is there as far as I think sixty feet will get you jumped off the edge and then Yeah. From there the feather ball token will carry you. Mm -hmm. So do you go sprinting off? Run. Yeah, he has seventy feet at the moment, so he'll run and jump off the ledge. Just as she puts a hand out to grab on it. <laughs> no. Can I do that? You, you can't. Ah. I guess my hands are already full of a robot. No reaction to grab the tail? Sadly, I don't think that that's... I don't think that that's like a good precedent to set. That's <laughs> a thing that you can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, we're not doing like this game movement here you're not like picking each other up and throwing each other around the <laughs> how do I players mean, move 600 I feet mean, across the battlefield as a unit <laughs> no here's the thing technically this Tisha can try to make a grab check as an attack for which would halt the movement yes which would halt the movement <laughs> oh yeah that's the, oh yeah it wouldn't that's not how grabs work right yes uh, grabs are like once you grab someone by the collar they immediately like stop. They they hold uh, in place. Uh, I forgot okay. it. Yeah, you don't travel with them. <laughs> Sadly. So Krom and Maker have been removed from the combat. Well, Maker still got to do death save. So yeah, Maker, make your death save as you're drifting slowly down to the ground. Ooh, that's that is a failed save. That's a failed save. Um, this engineer is just gonna book it and start sprinting. Doesn't do a spiteful he's magic missile. He's at a magic missile. <laughs> <laughs> he used up his complement of level one spells. He's only a level two caster. Um, and then the thrall. Uh, that's another individual that has been done in. Hold them to run. Hold them to build it. I would just like to say, you're all welcome for my heroic pickpocketing. <laughs> that was very neat. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> 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 it does look like he can't quite get to you. At he least. can't quite get to you. He's trying... he, gonna f he could throw his sledgehammer. <laughs> you know what? As an improvised weapon, he <laughs> will throw his sledgehammer <laughs> at Desisha. Just out of pure, like, rage. <laughs> pure that's, spite. That's what? That's just like a dex. No proficiency bonus. Yeah. Crit. Yeah. Yeah, he... <laughs> <laughs> it hits. Does that do and the you, damage? It's like you, um, you decide the damage based on the object size. Large objects, uh, you know, uh, uh, a shiv would be like a d4, yeah. d6 for a, a big stick. This might do a d8 or a d6. That is what Let's I would rule in my d8. games. Let's say a d8 plus the dex mod, six damage. <laughs> I'd actually be his strength mod as a throwing weapon. Oh yeah. Yeah, so, and also to accuracy, but it's already a hit, so... 
Plus eight. Eight damage. Oh, what? Eight damage. <laughs> oh, plus oh eight. fuck. Okay, I thought you were saying plus eight. <laughs> no, no, no. He is not. He is not like the god of strength. He's we know his strength is sixteen. Yeah, we know his strength sixteen. So that's eight damage. He. What are you doing? Come back here. We're liberating part two, whether you like it or not. You're Tell him that anyone that jumps off floats. Everyone. She goes over and just gives him a uh, a wave, uh, a salute, a wave off the top her forehead and leaps off to join the others. Yep. Do you want to make an acrobatics check to style? Yes. I will always <laughs> roll a one. Oh. Roll a one. Uh, style. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> he gets onto the rampart and uh, so, uh, 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 <laughs> and from so now excited. on, you'll know me as the greatest liberator of a. Uh, <laughs> there is a one there. There is a one. It's not not the one. But yes, you you vaguely successfully style on the man who's just watched all his friends be reduced to paste by a piece of mining equipment. But stop it! We're supposed to be the good guys. <laughs> the workplace accident. Yes, the workplace. Stop accident. making me feel bad for doing heroic. I gave them every opportunity to go away. <laughs> you did. Distichia is going to try and catch up with the floating prom. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can try to disable the feather fall. I mean, the fall. <laughs> you might even the only way you're going to catch you might even him. beat him to the ground if you do that. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got a plan. I disable that feather fall to catch up with Crom. Wait, oh really? god, you what? can't. Yes. You can't. Those are single use. You can't re-enable it. You know. I know. Just... Don't worry, I've got a plan. Okay, because... I, disable. I hope it's. I also have a feather fall as a spell. I also uh, have Feather Fall as a spell. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I have enough points to cast it. So, But we have dra uh, we have uh, a robot that's dying, and I also have a cantrip to stabilize him. Do you have so. enough points to cast Feather Fall as a second level spell? Second level? Why would I need to do a second level? Because it's a first level. cast it as a second level spell, so it makes you drift diagonally down into the no. city rather than right I into the... I have a really, really, really important question. What? How high up are we? You is it are... going? Is it going to take two more rounds for us to drop? Well, well. More importantly, if you disable this, and it's less than I think uh, six hundred feet is the full speed. Um, your round right, won't come float. up. <laughs> to, uh, uh, fine, I'll just float. I fr I didn't know I could uh, only float downwards with the level one. Yes. Yes, okay. that's true. You you could do this in the moment. I would allow it with an acrobatics check to like to like sort of like tag maker with a healing spell as you fly past him. You would end up separated from the group a little bit though as you touch down. Do you want to try it? And if you fail this acrobatics check, you will be splattering into the ground. I say splattering, you might survive. You're pretty high up, but Oh I'll just just float. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to make sure you understood what you were doing before. Uh... Yeah, yeah. What if I don't fall, don't fall about with uh, falling in a in a d twenty system? Good God, <laughs> I have feather it's fall. Most... Yeah, but if you turn off a feather fall while you're falling, you will hit the ground before your next round comes up. Just because right. of the full speed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so realistically, how many how many rounds do we spend falling? Uh, Krong, do you have, like, any kind of healing that you can apply to Maker while you're drifting down? He does. I gave everyone the healing potions. In that case, I will say, Maker, make one more check, and Krong, you can, uh... Can I do an engineering check? <laughs> oh, that's too dead! He's dead! Wait. Do you have inspiration? Can, can I inspire this? Inspiration does work on death saving throws, so yes, you can. <laughs> uh, God damn it! Okay, okay, so that's that should be that that should be me down to two, not four. Okay. So, <laughs> coming from his chest, and Crom smacks it. 
Wait, oh, that's... did I did I not? Do I have to stabilize three times? Uh, yes. Does the does the first one not? Oh. All you, all you have to go three times in each direction, and they don't cancel each other out. So. Oh, this is horrible. So, Kron, <laughs> you've got a healing potion. Do you? Yeah. Just I, open uh... the faceplate, dump the healing potion in while you're like <laughs> drifting downwards. Yes. I'm going to ask for a very easy, <laughs> but do non-zero it. sleight of hand check. Oh no! Sleight of hand. You gave it to. You know who you gave this roll to? It's an important roll that can be fumbled. <laughs> and you gave it to my brother. <laughs> oh gods! Oh, what's the next character you're... gonna be? <laughs> Uh, Hi! You okay. A, you succeeded the DC5 check <laughs> to pour a potion into the maker's face while you <laughs> while you both like drift in zero. Yeah. Game. <laughs> You're holding on to someone while falling, trying to position them so you can actually pour this in with your other arm. Yes. <laughs> but an 18, <coughs> that'll do it. Roll the healing for it. That's 2d4 plus 2. Ah, okay, I roll it. Maker, you... There. You sort of sputter awake as the healing solve works its way into your systems. And as you all drift down, you hear shouting and you see black smoke billowing in the rain and mobs of people, some moving in loosely organized groups under the direction of members of the Partu Liberation Brigade, and others in a panicked rush, making their way to the city gates. There is open fighting in the streets as Imperial soldiers do battle with everyone. You see the menacing brigade forces, forge workers with makeshift weapons, and even civilians trying to just rush past to safety. Basically anything without an Aerodani uniform appears to be getting targeted. Some of them seem to be trying to cut a path clear for their own escape or that of their superiors, but others just look panicked and like they're attacking uh, anything that seems vaguely hostile in confusion. To the north, you can see steam flooding the streets of the forge complex as molten rock starts to bubble up from the wounds in Partu's flesh, oozing out into the rainy streets. Within the hour, the industrial infrastructure will probably be in flames, the rest of the city likely won't last more than a handful of days at most. From this point, people are going to spread. Refugees to the south, the west. Some will probably even scatter eastwards. Some will be following roads, and others will be braving the wilderness with rebel guides rather than risking encounters with imperial patrols. You touch down on cobbled streets, and you have the opportunity to blend in with any of them heading in any direction. One sec. I'm gonna bring you back here. You successfully drift down to roundabouts here. Let's see. Up from the, up from the cliffs up above. What sledgehammer at me? You did throw a sledgehammer at you. I am very unwell, and I would like to leave. Let us start leaving, then. I, I agree with that sentiment. We should avoid the main streets. Right. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna sneak out. We're gonna sneak out. Okay. And I can help with that. I can help with that real good. And uh, Bailey is going to cast Path Without Trace. Go for it. Uh, let me just. That's you know, how do I make this go into chat? Mio, I, I think I'm going to. Try to refill our hit points and hope uh, my cure wounds spell doesn't fizzle. All right. So uh, if you want to sneak out, everyone has an advantage on dexterity, uh, and the next you die. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Me start by healing myself a bit. Do I fizzle? I do fizzle. That's my last name <laughs> for the day. God damn it. You know what? Uh, I will down. I was given the health potion, right? You were. Yeah. 54 plus 2. 
Everyone has a healing potions. They eight back. Some of us have more healing potions. <laughs> I'm. I'm going to use of uh, my manu maneuver, catch my breath, mm -hmm. in order to heal myself up. Some. All right. All right. That's three. Oh. You, you, you spend a minute just like, well, Crom literally, but everyone just catching their breath. Take a moment to recuperate. And he's next to shaking. She doesn't like heights. <laughs> well, you've either strengthened your tolerance to that fear. No, never again. It, <laughs> it you'll never climb any tall building ever again. So, everybody, you've done a little bit of healing. Are you, what are you doing now? Where are you heading? Are you blending in with the crowds, trying to just slip out of the city, meet up with uh, the rebels? Well, it looks like they're attacking crowds still, right? They're basically attacking anyone not in uniform. Yeah, there, there's a lot of soldiers who are just kind of like belligerently striking, lashing out, like... They're not, like, hunting people down, but, like, little clusters of soldiers with, like, shields and spears. Kind Multiple of soldiers have seen us interfering with that area. I reckon we do stealth. Yeah. Like, I think that's a good idea for us. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Bailey's going to do a little bit of magic. She prays to Nessus and little aura of whatever you say passes without trees. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Stick close to the deer. Yeah, so everyone rolls stealth with advantage and expertise. Mm, let me see here. I am actually... And I do and I do have advantage, so I should roll that d20 again, I guess. Can roll that d20 again. One moment. Oh yeah, maker has a 28. Maker is doing quite well. Give me the others' rolls as well, though. Crom and Bayleaf. Uh, Bay Bayleaf already rolled. Oh, she did? I did not see that. Oh, I see. That's 19. it. Everyone started healing. And oh, here's more... the advantage, but I forgot about that. Give me a stealth from Crom. Okay. Doesn't really matter, but... You do have advantage. Yeah, thank goodness. You do. Yeah. Oh, I think group average might carry you here. Yeah. Group average does in fact carry you. Crom is a little clunky, but with the three of you taking point, you're able mm -hmm. to weave your way through the streets. There's uh, there's some unfortunate things that you have to pass up, but you're not really in condition to get into practice battles with large numbers of soldiers right now, and oh. the best thing you can do is gather other people with you here and there, and kind of point them in the right direction, just point them towards people that they can join up with. However, as you make your way to the city gates, as you make your way outside the city gates, you do find some of your allies. There's like, there is like immediately like outside the gates, like a small encampment of uh, like, not a, not a proper encampment, but there's, like, a group of rebels who's, like, shouting and trying to, like, direct people. Uh, hold off any pursuing Imperials. Hold off any pursuing Imperials. And when they see you, they've been waiting for you. And they direct you to join up with one of the groups that is heading east. And as they do so, you see big old crab. Crabby! With... Some medicinal bandages wrapped around one of its legs. And it is just like loaded up with supplies, but uh, injury or no, it's still a flat back. It can carry Happy a bleat. lot. Happy bleat. It can carry a lot. So it like clips its pincers, like snip, stab, snip, stab in your direction, which may be the crab form of hello, friend, or it might just be a thing that the crab does. It's hard to tell. Is it 
Is it habit? Is it hungry? Is it happy? Who knows? <laughs> it's a crab. Uh, but his little tail was flittering happily. But you're able to get directed to it. There's room on it for maybe one person to ride it along with the supplies. Who takes that spot? Eh, uh, Maker, you fell over. You take yeah, it easy. Sure. Maker goes with the supplies. He gets packaged up. Sort of like rope goes around his waist as like a little seat belt because there's no guarantee Honestly, he wouldn't get jostled off otherwise. As a mechanist, I should have a, I should have my vehicle already, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah. You're switching to a system where you don't have one, so... Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah, have yeah, it immediately it. wreck it. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh. And with that, you go trundling off into the wastes to the east, along with a long, long convoy of freshly minted refugees clutching whatever possessions they were able to scrounge from their homes before fleeing an onslaught of molten destruction. Part of refugees, we did a good thing. Part two has always been a powder keg. And you, today, have lit a spark. With magma. With magma. With, with very or it lava. lava. Or ma magma. Or lava. Could be either one. Could be cave with lava. That was brought up as a suggestion. However, what's important now is thanks to everyone for playing. And thanks to everyone in the audience for watching. If you've enjoyed this game and are interested in participating, you can hire me. I run tabletop games professionally in a wide variety of systems and genres. Just check out the About tab on my channel for a rundown on how you can get in touch with me. I'd love to work with you to set up exactly the kind of game you and your group are looking for. Until next time, be kind where you can, brave where appropriate, and always try to act in solidarity with those less fortunate than yourselves.